suppose <coughs> so this example is called gambler's ruin chain suppose a gambler starts out with a certain initial capital in dollars and makes a series of one dollar bets against the house <clears throat> assume that with probability p that he has respective probabilities p and q which is 1 minus p of winning and losing each bit and that if his capital ever reaches to zero he is ruined and his capital remains zero afterwards Now let xn denote the gambler's capital at time N. This is a Markov chain in which zero is an absorbing state. We <clears throat> just learned definition of absorbing state in the previous video. Um, and for x greater than or equal to one, so zero is absorbing state. And for x greater than equal to 1, the transition function is like this. Is q if y equal to x minus 1 and p y equal to x plus 1 and 0. elsewhere so such a chain is called is called a gambler's ruin chain on the state space zero one two dot dot d sorry uh, it's an it's an 
no sort of uh, finite state it's a countably infinite state so we can modify this model by supposing that if the capital of the gamblers increases to d dollars he quits playing in this case zero and d both are absorbing state right and so for an alternating interpretation of this chain we can assume that two gamblers are making a series of one dollar bets okay so <clears throat> for an alternative interpretation we can assume that two gamblers two gamblers are making a series of one dollar bets against each other and that between them they have total capital of d dollar suppose the first gambler has probability p of winning any given bet and the second gambler has probability 1 minus p which is q of winning the two gamblers play until one of them goes broke let xn denote the capital of the first gambler at time n then xn is a gamblers ruin chain on Sorry, up to D. 